welcome to the Beyond Leadership Podcast, where we host outstanding individuals and we discover new dimensions of leadership and their talents and recipes for success. Wow, number 58. This is our 58th audio tip of the week. And here are some fun facts about number 58. Did you know that Dr. Dre, Chris Rock, and Martin Lawrence are all 58 years old? And cerium is a chemical element with the symbol CE and atomic number of 58. And 58 is probably the amount of times I try to teach my dog, Toshi, to fetch the ball when I throw it to him, but still haven't succeeded. Well, we'll see what happens <laughs> in 59 to try or 60. We'll see. Now, today's tip of the week is based on the article Beware of Culture of Business, which organizations must stop conflating with activity and activity with achievement. Written by Wyatt's, published in March, April 2023 in Harvard Business Review. Too many teams overvalue business, which fosters culture of long work hours, meeting overload and chronic multitasking. But our obsession with staying busy is misguided and it can actually come at the expense of productivity. It can cause organizations to overload their employees, base their incentives on the amount of time they put in and excessively monitor their activities, all of which undermine productivity and efficiency. Meanwhile, reducing work to manageable levels can actually enhance them. We all know examples of Four week uh, work week. Now, here's how to re reverse the destructive trend. Number one, reward output, not just activity. Recognize and promote employees who work efficiently and produce the highest quality work, not just those who log the most hours. Number two, eliminate low value work and foster deep work. Conduct an audit on your team to determine how much time per week they spend on shallow tasks versus the time they spend deeply focused on high value tasks. Number three, nudge people off the clock. If you want your employees to truly thrive, you need to allow them for their minds to wander. Encourage them to sign off earlier, work class on weekends, and crucially, actually use their looted vacation time. And final number four, model the right behavior. The boldest leaders aren't those who burn the midnight oil. They're the ones who set the norm by taking a pause. When you show that you own and you manage business and that isn't a prerequisite for success, others are more likely to follow. The famed UCLA basketball coach, John Wooden, once said, never mistake activity for achievement. Yet companies keep failing into that trap, despite concealable evidence that increased work doesn't necessarily lead to increased productivity. Businesses and leaders must step up to take a stand against the business epidemic so that we can begin to create not only more sustainable organizations, but also more suitable jobs. Now, what does your team's culture look like? Have you ever asked yourselves, do you reward output or activity or both? Now, this was this week's tip of the week. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on all podcast channels like Spotify, Apple, Google, CastBox, and also follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. Till next time. Thank you.